Welcome to this Bowman Library video on how to find the full text of an article when all you have is its citation. There are several places you might find a citation to an article that sounds useful for a project. You might have found it in a search you did in Google Scholar, or in a search you did in one of the library's databases that doesn't provide full text. You also might have found a citation in the reference list of another article you've read. But how do you put your hands on the actual article? Let's take a look. Earlier in this module, we found this citation when searching in Google Scholar, but the full text wasn't available. We can use this information to determine if this journal is available in one of the library's databases. Let's be sure to make note of the journal's title, which is Cyber Psychology and Behavior, and also its date, which is December 2009. We'll take that information to the library's homepage to the section headed Search the Journal Finder. That's where we can search for any publication by its title and find out if the library has it in print or in one of its many databases. We'll go to the search box and type in Cyber Psychology and Behavior, the journal's title. Be sure to search for the journal title, not the individual article title. You'll hit the search button and be taken to a page that looks like this. It looks like the library has two publications with similar names. The one we want is the first one on the list. You can see that it's in two of the library's databases and that it's available in full text through 2009, which happens to be the date of the article we want. Let's click through on the first link to the Academic Search Premier database. We'll be taken to this page that provides some detailed information about the journal Cyber Psychology and Behavior. If you look more closely on the right side of the page, you'll see there are two ways to find your article, either by searching within the publication or by going to a specific issue by date. Let's go first to the search within this publication link. You'll discover that the journal name has automatically been entered into the search box for you. All you have to do is type in the title of the article you want, which is being immersed in social networking environment. You'll change the area to search to title, hit search, and you'll be taken right to the article where you'll find the full text PDF, which is what we've been searching for. The other way to find the article back on the page with all the information about the journal Cyber Psychology and Behavior is to go to the year and then the month of publication. This will take you to the contents of the entire December 2009 issue of the journal. You'll see there are 17 articles in the issue. You'll need to scan down the list for your article and you'll find it as number 10 on the list. And there you'll find the link to the full text PDF. So we did quite well in finding the full text of this article, whose citation we found originally by searching in Google Scholar. But there will be times when you don't find the journal you want in the journal finder. And what to do then? If you haven't already searched Google Scholar, you can try searching by an article title to see if you might find the full text there. If full text is available, it will generally be in a PDF link on the right side of your search results page. But if you don't have any success there either, don't despair. You can request your article from another library by using the Interlibrary Loan link on the library's homepage. You'll choose the appropriate form, and in this case, that's the journal request form. You'll be taken to this page, and here's where you'll enter all the information from the citation. The author, the article title, the journal title, the date, the volume, 
the issue, the page numbers, and where you found the information. Don't forget to tell us how to contact you, who you are, and what your barcode number is. You'll recall that's on the back of your Menlo ID card. Hit the Submit Request button and your request will soon be on its way to another library. Requested articles often arrive in 48 hours. Now you know how to use the library's journal finder and how to request items not available in the library's collections. If you have any questions, be sure to ask a librarian. And don't be shy about using Interlibrary Loan. It's a great way to bring the libraries of the world to you right here at Menlo College.